During the day, the worksite looks like a huge anthill. Trucks, engineering equipment and workers are overrunning every single side corner. And after dark, the place is changing. The silence invades the noisy spaces and shadows cover the sunny lighted places. But Eater never sleeps. A handful of people are keeping the site alive. Hello, hello. Uh, tonight, are you, how are you? Fine. Yes. Uh, tonight uh, there is a radioactive test in building B50s. Yes. It's here, B50s, here. Uh, you, you let the free the, the world on the east side, but you close the world on the west side. Yes. Okay. Uh, the radiologists are the same as uh, yesterday. Yes, it's okay. Okay? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. When the main activities stop, the radiographic testing teams enter onto the scene. RT is a non-destructive technique that ensures the detection of flaws in components and equipment, such as in the welding when pieces of equipment are joined. For four years, an average of six persons are performing RT tests every night, and they will continue until the end of the project. Thanks to the lower level of coactivity at night, the RT teams can make exclusion zones and operate until the sunrise. Hello, hello Sylvain. Uh, as explained by mail, could you activate the, the pass, please? Uh, RT operation is, uh, is planned on B-50s. Yes? Okay. Th thank you. Bye bye. Before to authorize the RT operation in building B-50s tonight, uh, we need to evacuate uh, the building B-50s and building B-33, including in, uh, inside exclusion area. And uh, we need to implement correctly the exclusion area uh, around B-50s, including B-33. Particular attention for the gallery, the roof and the scaffold. To implement uh, RT exclusion area, uh, we use a specific uh, RT marking tape and the critical uh, point of, uh, of cross, potential cross, are uh, marked with bacon flash, with lighting, specific lighting. RT operation. Building B-50s, in five minutes, you must evacuate, you must evacuate building B-50s and B-33, RT operation, in five minutes, you must respect RT exclusion area, in case of emergency, contact command post. The eater side changes completely during the night. The roads and buildings look different under the headlamps of the security vehicles. Le salarié commence à 7h30 du matin, tous les jours. En moyenne, nous nous préparons 450 repas. 
pendant le Covid, nous préparions entre 850 et 900 repas tous les jours. À l'heure actuelle, pour faire votre le service, j'ai besoin de 10 salariés. Avant, nous étions 10 ans. In the morning when I arrive, I check the list of all the tickets, I check the status. Uh, this year we had to deal with uh, 2,500 tickets. We have uh, four to six agents every day. Our multi-service agents are able to do small repairs, install whiteboards, technical and industrial cleaning such as workshops or technical rooms and installations. They are in charge of the cleaning and maintenance of all IO service cars and during the cold season they manage with salt spreading and snow removal. They can also be asked to install furniture for an event like Da Vinci event last year and the start of machine assembly celebration last summer. Cleaning ladies are multitask. Regarding the pandemic, they are asked to clean the meeting rooms before each meeting, uh, clean the contact points on a regular basis and the frequency of the cleaning increased. first weeks of the corona crisis took everybody by surprise and have been pretty crazy for us. In the beginning, many people did not have the IT systems to work uh, properly at home. The efficiency of the whole ITER project depended on getting people at home to work as efficiently as possible. But I let the IT team explain to you what happened behind the scenes. We had 100 PC in stock for newcomers. Many people had no laptop and no way to work from home. We had to install urgently loan laptop to allow them to work. The complex systems in uh, IT cannot uh, work simply on the laptop, on the user laptop. So uh, they need a plenty of computing power and we configured remote access from home laptops to servers and workstations which uh, remain in the ITER for staff and collaborators. Telecommunication is very important during normal times of the project. During this crisis it became essential. Skype usage went up by a factor of 10. We needed to ramp up the server infrastructure, provide training and close support to all users to allow everybody to work efficiently from home. Usage of the studio become an important tool for conferences and communication. Of course our supplier has to face the same issue 
and obtaining our required equipment needed a lot of negotiation and convincing. This was helped by our friends in procurement. We had to urgently reinforce our remote access servers. Also, our firewall was not able to withstand so many remote connections from home. We had to limit temporarily the non-essential data flow and at the same time increase the capacity of the VPN infrastructure to go from 50 concurrent VPN connections to 2000 and constantly monitor the infrastructure to make sure nothing would break. In IT, we are working with teams all across the world. Because of that, this 2020 year uh, was very challenging because each team faced COVID at different moments. We had to adapt and organize our work working to keep the efficiency to its as you saw, this was a pretty intense time for us. We basically had a crisis meeting lasting four weeks with minimum sleep periods. To, in order to raise the uh, capacity from 50 people teleworking up to 2,000. Thank everybody in IT and at ITER who contributed to this success. <laughs>